everyone, welcome back to my channel, Alex here. If you've never seen these big old cheeks before, then do go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you've been with me forever, welcome back. I'm super excited to have you for another video. As always, you guys can follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Twitter. I'm always on there, so do go ahead and come and say hi. So for today's video, I wanted to share a new foundation. Today we're gonna to be reviewing a foundation by Shishido. Now it's not brand new, but it is new to me. And I'm excited because of the technology behind it. Now this is the Shishido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. And I am a lover and obsessed with, have been using forever. Like if you follow me forever, then you know I love their cotton pads. I've been using their cotton pads for a really long time. Um, they are not cheap but they're not expensive. I believe they're right in the middle and they are definitely worth it, super duper soft. But we're not here to talk about the cotton pads, right? We're here to talk about this foundation. I've also used their um, the sunscreen before. So their skincare is really good, so I really wanted to give their makeup a chance. And this particular foundation is supposed to be oil-free and it's supposed to be self-refreshing. So it's supposed to have this technology behind it that it moves with your skin throughout the day. So you know how some foundations can flake or it can crack or just basically melt off your face by the time you're done with your day? Apparently this one is supposed to do a good job of staying on and staying put where you put it. Now it comes in, I believe, 30 shades. So it's a nice range. I do wish that the darker range was a little bit more um, spread out, but I got the shade suede 510 that is the shade that i got i also picked up the concealer and i'm going to talk about the concealer a little bit later because um well should i talk about it later no i'll probably talk about it now i was a little perturbed because the foundation size is great and then when i got the concealer in the mail i was like where the rest of my money Where, where's the rest of my concealer like it fits compared to this is drugstore compared to the amount that I get I'm like where's the rest of it so that was my first thought the box was really small and the concealer is tiny the cap takes up a whole lot so we're gonna talk about the concealer a little bit later because my first thing was where's the rest of my concealer for the money that I paid so I let's not go there let's talk about the foundation a little bit more now like I said, it comes in about 30 shades and it says on the Shishado website that it's a weightless foundation with active force technology that synchronizes with skin and self refreshes nonstop for a 24 hour just applied look, flawless finish. That's what I'm really hoping for. So the description of Suede 510, which is the shade that I got, is golden tone for deep skin. Now, as you guys know, we are in a time where we can't go and swatch anything. So I am basically trying this blind. I'm just going by the description. So I'm really hoping that it is a good match for me. It's supposed to be in terms of coverage, medium, buildable coverage, and the finish is supposed to be fresh and natural. It's supposed to be oil-free, smudge-proof, waterproof, um, sweat, is it sweat resistant? Transfer resistant, humidity resistant, um, and fragrance free and non commodogenic and I am excited. So I do have my handy dandy brush, my favorite foundation brush. This is the Moda Pro Buffer BMX 180. Um, as always, everything that I use today, I'll list and link down in the description box. So I'm excited. So let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is really nice. It's this glass frosted type of bottle that it's in and it also comes with a pump. Now this pump actually turns so that you can lock the foundation so that's good for travel that you know you know you can turn it it's locked it won't just burst open and spill everywhere but it is still this glass ball it is thick mind you but um you get one fluid ounce and i'm gonna turn this and i'm gonna shake this up it does sound a little liquidy in the jar but i want to go ahead and pump this out oh it's liquidy it just spewed out if you saw that it's runny wow Ooh, it's spreading on my hand. If you can see that, it's just running down my hand. Okay, wow, the color looks decent. I don't know why I keep squirting more out of my hand when I need to be putting this on my face. Wow, that texture is really, really runny. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so they said it's medium. So we are going to see how this works out. And this texture is super duper runny, so I probably need to work fast so it's here and we're gonna buff it 
it feels nice it doesn't feel heavy at all on my skin So this is what the first layer is looking like. Um, very skin-like. It's very lightweight on the face. I'm really happy about that. So it is medium coverage. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is go in with a, another pump. So I think that was about two, two and a half. Well, let's say three to do just my whole face. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just to monitor how much I use. So I need to shake this up again and go in with another layer over the face to see how much I can get this built up to cover my scars because you can probably see them on camera but I can see them they're not as prominent but I can still see my scars in person so let me go in with another layer to see if I can get some coverage built up second coat I'm liking the second coat as you can see it looks very dewy and it feels good but I can actually feel it this time on my skin the first layer it felt light I didn't feel anything it felt like I was wearing absolutely nothing but now that I went in with the second coat I can kind of feel that it's there but I can feel it drying down if that makes sense like now I can feel it drying down so now that this is drying down a little bit I want to go ahead and with the concealer the concealer that I got the shade is number 402 tan and this concealer does come in 16 shades so I put it up to the glass of the foundation and it looked good in the glass but I know um, that can definitely be <laughs> not really telling of what a concealer is Ooh. The little um oh nice i'll probably do a close-up of this the applicator looks very weird i've never seen that shape before it's like a bulb but then it has a pinch in the middle it's pretty cool so let me check out what it's saying on the website about this concealer apparently it's supposed to be a multitasking concealer it's liquid and it immediately diminishes the appearance of imperfections for medium to full coverage it has a 24 hour wear claim and it's supposed to have a natural finish hmm okay So I don't think I did too bad with picking the concealer color. Um, it's more closer to my skin tone, so it's not doing any brightening per se. I just, like I said, we're, we're shopping blind here now, so I wasn't, I didn't want to get something that was too light, but it is definitely closer to my skin color than anything else. This applicator is so weird very strange it's good around the nose a little uh curved portion does a good job of wrapping around the nose so i can say that but the little bulb on the end is kind of weird it doesn't feel thick like they said it is um more of a medium to full so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my beauty blender pro slow dancing
what we are looking like with foundation and concealer just blended out um i like the skin like look to it um i realized what the little bulb was for and i probably have to do a little bit more research but i noticed as i was putting it on and then i needed to do a little bit of spot concealer that little bulb is great for dispensing the perfect amount of product just on a space that you need it to be it doesn't spread anywhere just bloop just dot it right there and you are good to go now the concealer does give a medium to full so if you want to go in with another layer of the concealer you can and it feels really light it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that it blended out really really nice i just wish that the packaging wasn't so small so i'm not sure like you don't need a lot of it so maybe that's the takeaway in terms of bang for your buck but you don't get a whole lot of product in here this is only um 0.19 fluid ounce in here so yeah i don't know so but other than that it does feel really nice the applicator is very very interesting but it does have some contours to it that are really really nice and it feels really soft on the skin so it doesn't feel like it's dragging or pulling anything like that but it blended out like a dream i don't feel it falling into any fine lines right now and it doesn't look like it's doing that at all it does have a like a touch of yellow in it to me um, as I was blending it out, I noticed that. So do be mindful if you're going to get this particular color. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is finish the rest of my face, see how this plays with other products, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm all done putting the rest of my face on, and I'm impressed. Like, so far it feels really good to the point where I don't feel anything. I feel like this is my skin. Like, my lashes feel heavier than what's on my face right now. That's amazing. Like this feels really, really good. Shadow did a really good job. So like so far. So it is now three. What time is it? After three? Yeah. So it's about three eleven. So yeah, it is about after three o'clock right now. So I do have to make lunch. Like I have a little bit of cleaning up to do. So I will definitely carry out the rest of my day, and I will check back in with you guys this afternoon or probably later on tonight to let you guys know how this is holding up but so far so good um again it is medium buildable coverage so if you have any underlying like deeper scars i would definitely go in with the shishido this is the same this the synchro skin sub refreshing um concealer and spot conceal if you need to if you can find your shade in this um yeah i chose tan and it's definitely like my skin color shade not so much a brightening type of concealer so I might have to go down a size, uh, down a shade, but then I don't want it to be too light. So I think this is fine right now. I still think my makeup came out pretty, pretty nice. It played well with other powders and things like that. So I'm really impressed with that as well. I'm not wearing a primer with this one today. I completely forgot to put my primer on. So we'll definitely see how this fares for the rest of the day. But so far, it feels really, really great. If you guys like the written word, then do go ahead and check out the blog, MissBeautyBunny.com. But I will be back a little bit later to let you guys know how this fares on my combination acne prone oily skin. Okay, guys, so we are back and it has been about seven hours. It is now... Yeah, I just got done with dinner. It's about 10 o'clock, if you can see that. So, been about seven hours, which is usually around the amount of time that I would wear a foundation for. So, give or take seven to eight hours. That's a full day. And I wanted you guys to see my skin. So, per usual, we've got our oil going on around my nose area. The chin isn't so bad, and the forehead is basically not that bad either. My forehead still looks... Um, really nice and just normal and moisturized, but my nose area. Oh, 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 we are. We are oily. We're not oil slick, but we are oily per usual. But it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad compared to like something um, like the next glow. Born a glow? Yeah, we're not there. <laughs> so yeah, it looks nice and natural. I definitely think if I blotted throughout the day, it would have been okay. I did not blot at all. If you're new to my reviews, I don't blot, I don't do any of that until I sit back in front of you guys. So I've got my little beauty blender, blotter out of here. And I just want to take a really good look at my skin. I was doing everything today, guys. I cleaned the fridge, I cooked lunch, I just got done with dinner. Like I've been in front of a hot stove, um, didn't sweat much, but even when I did, nothing moved, right? So it still looked good. As far as the concealer goes, it's really good. There's no settling into fine lines. There's no creasing. There's no cracking. Um, the concealer is, is, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with this, this little tiny little bottle. At first I was kind of upset because it's so small, but yeah, it's pretty small and mighty. So I'm 
we, we could work together. I really like this. It's very, very nice. I'll definitely have to try the tan 401. I had the 402, so I'll try the 401 to see how it works in terms of brightening under the eye. But so far, so good. It looks really, really good. Um, as far as settling into my smile lines, there was a little bit of that, a little bit of movement in there, but it's not cracking as in like, oh my gosh, it's completely separating, but it is in there. So everywhere else looks good. There's nothing moving around. So I'm just going to go ahead and blot to see what it would have looked like if I had it blotted today at some point. <laughs> huh. You can, you can see a difference on camera, right? Like, and it's not moving. My little blotterati here isn't taking up any of the product. It's still where I placed it at the time that I first laid the foundation down. So you probably can see a difference. I can see a huge difference in terms of the oil. So it looks really good. Okay. Yeah. You are definitely safe to blot with this one. Nothing's going to move. The foundation and the concealer stayed right in place as hard as I'm pressing to soak up this oil. Nothing is lifting. Nothing is moving. Everything is staying where it should be. Even like where it was in my smile line seemed to have fixed itself. That's great. That's really, really good. I'm really, really pleased with that. Wow. Yeah, like I just pressed where the smile line was and where the little bit of separation was kind of, not so much like it was starting to settle, it just removed it and I'm, I'm floored. So yeah, wow. Shiseido, very, very good job on this Cinco Skin self-refreshing foundation. Again, this is oil-free. Um, again, if you prefer the written word, definitely go ahead and check out the blog with speedybunny.com. But Shiseido did, Shiseido, I, I always get the name. Um, horrible. Shiseido did a really good job with this one, guys. So definitely check it out. They have a couple of shades that you can definitely choose from. Um, they got a good range on this. Like I said earlier, I do wish that the deep tones was a little bit like they had a little bit more to offer. But yeah, this is the one that I chose. I'll have the shade and everything listed down in the description box for you guys. So yeah, let me know what you think about today's review and about this foundation on my skin. I really like it. It feels really good. It didn't feel heavy at all throughout the day i still feel like i have absolutely nothing in my face even with that little oil section like i felt absolutely nothing absolutely nothing so this is this is definitely truly lightweight and amazing on the skin so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have and i'll see you in my next video really really soon bye <laughs>